Hallelujah, hallelujah. Praise Ahaya, everybody. Praise Ahaya one more time. Praise Ahaya from whom all blessings flow. Amen and amen. This is your sister, Carrie Ann. And yes, Ahaya the Christ, Yesaya of Nazareth, Yesaya the Messiah. If you want to know why I call God Ahaya and the biblical Jesus Christ of Nazareth, Yesaya, I've done the video pinned in the comment section or the description box. Quick housekeeping, brothers and sisters, you can skip this big video and go. Uh, I don't know which minute mark because it's just depending really probably the eight minute mark or something like that um, or seven I'm not sure but you can skip this bit okay so um, right brothers and sisters bit of housekeeping remember when I make a comment my name is Sister Carrie Ann it's always always highlighted in solid gray border if it's not solid gray border that's a dirty demon trying to um, imitate and um, be me all right you need to rebuke and report them okay on this channel we do the top 20 it's a pleasure to call out the first top 20 brothers and sisters in the most uh, higher who commented on the video but brothers and sisters is more than just calling out your names it's something that the most High tells me to do because what it's doing is building your spirit man is teaching you to be alert to be vigilant, to be sober, um, to be to watch the times of the season for the returning of the Messiah. Because when all is said and done, yes, Haya is coming back. He, he really is. And that is all it boils down to. All right. So underneath that video concerning it is time where we talk about Rush Rush, the bear country, um, you know, going in on the big eagle babylon um it is gonna happen all right very powerful video brothers and sisters um you need to watch it all right i've done a playlist that concern i've done a playlist with rush rush versus babylon us you need to watch that playlist in these end times you have to i'll leave it link okay so set apart for his glory Miguel. Um, Ice and Emma, Mahala, Buddha, Bodder, Shana, Shana Fisher, Eve, New Beginnings, Namuanji, Shivan, Faith, Dr. Barely Daily, Emma Scarlet, Kate Dungu, Blessed Queen 53. Caroline Jackson, Kent Siwa, Stacy B, uh, Jal uh, Jalisa, Stacy and Small, Diane Rattigan, and Vanessa Kelly. Hallelujah. Um, those are the top 20 brothers and sisters in the most high higher who have commented on those videos. Please continue to like, share, share the videos watch at the end because it really helps the just a second brother I can hear my kids screaming just a minute I'm gonna have to talk to them hallelujah yes brothers and sisters where was I I don't even know where I was um yes continue to like the videos okay so we're continuing with our prophetic theme banner our prophetic theme banner is we are near we're not only near to the return of the beautiful messiah but we're also near to the revealing of the antichrist barry and the new world order the one world government is coming and all of that brothers and sisters we are very very near to that that's why we have a prophetic theme banner that says we're near we also have a prophetic theme song that's called also called we are near prophetic theme banner prophetic theme song goes hand in hand it's a song that my mommy taught me when i was a little girl i don't know anything about new year's eve song all right she's had sweets and what of you and when we're near to the stuff she's to sing how near you are and the song goes like this oh near you are oh near you are oh near you are oh near oh near you are oh near you are oh near you are oh there. hallelujah yes we are near and we can sing that song with confidence okay brothers and sisters i want to jump really into this because this is a very important prophecy that i'm coming with all right let me give you a quick background of the story remember and i will do a, a full testimony of how the most i woke me up to become a prophetess to be honest with you but in 2015 um that is when the most that 2015 september actually the 6th of september the 6th of september 2015 that's when my life changed i was never ever the same again a higher woke me up to become who i am in him today and 
one the second powerful vision that I had, all right, concerning the most high beginning beginning in, beginning to show me the ending of days. Because I never knew anything about the ending of days, brothers and sisters. And the second powerful vision that he gave me is what I'm about to share with you. Um, I've done it already. I've shared it already in 2016. Even though I got it in 2015. Um, but I'm going to reshare it again. But you need to watch a full video. It's only about 10 minutes long. Because of what is going on. Alright. And when I had this vision concerning Babylon US. I was very, very startled. This was my first ever vision concerning Babylon US. And when I came out the vision, brothers and sisters, I didn't know what to make of it. Because in my eyes, in 2015, at the time, you could not say a bad word concerning America to me. Because I loved America. Like, even though I'm living in the UK in 2015, at that time, I always, always wanted to live in America. Like, that was just my hope, my dream. And when I when I got that vision um, concerning Babylon US, I didn't understand it. But the most I said, you need to post what I show you. It's not about you. It's not about your feelings. It's not how you feel about some a country. But I've given you this vision. You need to post it. And at the time, I used to use Google Plus. It's gone now. It's Google Plus. I used to use Google Plus a lot. So I posted it on Google Plus 2015. And I posted it on my Facebook. I wasn't using youtube that much at the time all right so it was just literally posting in different groups and what a view and all of you all right so brothers and sisters i want you to understand something okay what is going on i hope that you pay attention now i've done a video and I'm not going to talk about it because it's i've done it a couple of days ago but you need to go and watch the full playlist concerning rush rush versus babylon us you need to watch the playlist to understand where we are at all right okay so please watch the playlist and this the original video that i'm going to talk about is in the playlist now i've said that the crane country that rush rush the bear country is fighting now that crane country is a smoke screen like they're all in it together that is the first thing you've got to understand. Although the most is going to deliver his people, but it's a massive small screen. It's like a puppet. They've been used heavily, proper, proper heavily. All right. Um, but what, but what, what I want you to understand is that now I have to speak in code here because every time I mention, I'm going to mention it one time, New York, but I'm not going to call it that. I'm going to call it, NY. Everybody know that. I'm going to leave off the city and just call it NY. All right. Rush Rush is in my vision that I saw. All right. Let me tell you the vision first before I get into what I'm saying. So in 2015, I'm going to just give a snippet. You need to watch a full vision. So in 2016, the first vision I had concerning Babylon US is when I, I was standing in NY. I was standing in NY and I was with an angel, the angel of the Most High. And as I began to look and I observed, it was a beautiful day. It's like I was in a park area. Kids were playing, people were walking up and down. It was such a nice day. Then I looked up in the sky. When I looked up in the, si in the sky, I saw missiles coming down. They were raining down, lots of them. Nobody saw it because everybody was just busy doing their own thing. And when I saw these missiles, brothers and sisters, I did not see at the time any soldiers attached to these missiles, just, just, just the missiles. And the angel of the Lord said, look closely on what you're seeing coming down into New York. So when I looked very closely, I then saw the soldiers begun to appear at the end of the missile. So it got like, you got the missile, you got the parachute and then the soldiers all attached to this missile. I was blown away. I was taken back. When these missiles eventually land, anything that it lands on was completely destroyed. Like, yeah. But the thing about these missiles, brothers and sisters, what I saw in the vision, they were so silent. Silent, rather. Like, when the first missile hit, it started, it, destroys, it destroyed buildings. But nobody seemed to realize what was going on. 
is only when it started to like hit the trees and in the park and what a view and then people were like oh, we're under attack and then i saw new york begun to well ny begun to you know destroy but then the soldiers detached themselves when the missile landed the soldiers detached themselves from the missile and they began to walk up and down in New York. But what I understand with these soldiers, they, were, they weren't they were treating the people right. Because I didn't know which soldier they were. But they were very, very cruel. They were very, very rough towards the people. So I went up to one of the soldiers. The angels were with me. And I went up and I said, um, I said to one of the soldiers, I said, are you an American soldier? That's what I said. And on his sleeve, I realized that the flag of Babylon wasn't there. It wasn't the flag of Babylon. It was a different country flag. And the guy began to speak and he said to me, no, we are rush rush soldiers. So plain, so clear. We are Russian rush rush. Call them rush rush. We are rush rush soldiers. And you have to listen to the original video because it said something to me like because then when he said that my heart began to ponder now i began to get anxious and i began to fear and i began to worry because all of these things was happening we need to watch the main video because other things happen in that video in that vision brothers and sisters all right as i said i leave the main video in the um in the description box and comment section Rush Rush versus America. But what I want to get to, brothers and sisters, um, is I want to talk about the coming attack on NY because it's going to happen. Now, I don't, and I said it in my other vision, in my other videos, I don't think right. NY is going to be hit really, really bad. It's going to hit so bad that it will cripple or, or it's going to cause a change in currency. Do you understand what I'm saying? This is where we're heading because we're heading into the mark of the beast and the, 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 the economy in the world must go down and for the economy in the world to go down, NY has to be destabilized so that the dirty Caesars can come to the people and say, oh, you know, because of what's happening in NY, the banks are not working and that's not working and this bank and you can't get your money out. So they're going to come and they're going to propose the chip. So NY will have to go down. The going down of NY, it is not Revelation 18. We're not there yet. Please understand that because a lot of people are going to get confused. Oh, are we into Revelation 18 where the Lord talks about Babylon, Mr. Babylon being destroyed? And no, we're not there yet. This is a build up for the mark of the beast. It has to happen. They have to destabilize the world economy. And it starts with, all right. So if you think about it right now, okay, say they drop a new key. Call it new key because of the algorithm. Say they drop a new key on on China. So what? The world still goes on. Babylon still go on and what of you? If they drop a new key to destroy the, you know, some parts in Babylon UK, the world still goes on. The Babylon US, if they drop a new key in NY. We are in serious trouble, not only for the monetary system, but you've got to look at your food, your oil. Because I remember in 20, 20, 2011, when the World Trade, when the World Trade Center was um, attacked, I was in uni. Was that? No, 20, when was it? 2011? I wasn't uni. I was working. I was working at the time, I think. Um, yeah. 9-11, yeah, 2011. Um and now it's a 20, oh, oh, oh my gosh, 9, all right, 9-11, let's call it 9-11, <laughs> yeah, 9-11, when 9-11 happened, um, the World Trade Center went down, I remember everything was affected, like, you couldn't even send money back home to the Caribbean, 
the, the gas was affected, your bank, every, and this was just the, the trade center that was hit. But everything in New York, in NY, was affected. So can you imagine the scale of devastation when NY is going to be hit? Because they will. This is no ifs, buts, or maybe. The vision is true. The vision is true, brothers and sisters. And so they have to destabilize. That this is all it's boiling down to. The, the, the economy has to be destabilized. So when, once that's happened, then they can roll out the, the chip. They can roll out Revelation 13 eventually. And they can come and say, look, this has happened. It's been destroyed. We're not going to use any more paper money. We're not going to use any more coins, no more credit cards, this, that, and what of you. So you've got to understand, brothers and sisters, you've got to understand the position of Rush Rush. You've got to understand the position of the bear country and what their task is and what they're meant to do. Because right now they're ruffling the feathers of Babylon, US. That's all this one is. But the eye is to destabilize the economy. And so therefore to do that, you will have to nuke the heart of NY. So that everything will stop on a long-term permanent basis. Not, not permanent, but on a long-term basis. And I repeat myself, this is nothing to do with this is nothing to do with Revelation 18, because in Revelation 18, the Bible says that Ahia remembered Babylon and he destroyed Babylon. And when Babylon is completely destroyed, no human being cannot live there. We are not there yet. Please understand. Please understand that this is a precursor for what is to come. This is like a test run, but the test run that is going to happen will lead to Revelation 13. That no man will be able to buy or sell, except they've got the mark of the beast. Now, a lot of people were thinking that, okay, the let's have a look. I have to use my pen as a prompt. A lot of people are thinking this is the 666. And that, okay, without this, you can't buy or sell. I don't have that. And I can still buy. I can still go on Amazon. I can buy. If I can, I can put up my stuff on eBay and I can still sell. So this is not the, 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 the triple six. It is not Revelation 30. The Bible is very specific. You cannot buy or sell save he that has the mark. In the right hand or the forehead. We're not even talking about worshipping the image. We're not even talking about the number of the beast on people. Which is electronical tattooing. We're not talking about that. We're just literally talking about one aspect of the triple six. Which is a mark in your right hand. This is your digital currency. That they're going to insert in your right hand. When they come to you. When they come to you and they say to you, and you've got a lot of money in the bank. As so I did a video, take out what you can, if you can, if you feel led. But when they come to you, when the dirty Caesars come to you and they say to you, look, we're not doing paper money anymore um, in terms of the... Um, in terms, because it's going to be, it's going to take its time to fade out, isn't it? They're not just going to happen overnight. It's going to take time. So when they're going to propose to you and they're going to say to you, you, you know, you've got so much money in the bank, but we want to give it to you. It's yours, but we want to give it to you. But unfortunately, we're not using paper or coins. So in order for you to use the money in the bank, you, it's going to go digital. So you will have to have this chip inside of you to get the money so that you, when you go to the shop, so that the chip is linked to the bank. 
so that when you go to the shop or the store or whatever you pick up what you want and you scan yourself brothers and sisters that's the mark of the beast but they cannot do that yes they cannot do that yet until the economy is destable they have to hit new york they have to hit ny ny they have to hit it it's got to go down because ny it is the epicenter of all trading everybody knows that it doesn't matter how you want to say you know the big c the dragon country it's the you know richest yeah that's fine but when you're talking about everything tying up it is the epicenter it is ny and that's got to be no nuked it has to and it will be done by the rush rush countries it is that simple this is what's gonna happen so you see the fighting in ukraine and i said it before you, you know the crane country it's a smoke screen it's like a distraction for the real nitty-gritty of what rush rush really want to do totals you the crane country will be fine i said it before they'll be all right they'll be fine they're gonna bounce back like yeah like nothing ever happened they will um but the nitty-gritty of the situation it is it, it it is all to do with babylon babylon us that is it you notice i don't mention babylon uk it's all to do with babylon us because they're in the bible it has to fulfill we are very 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 close to the revealing of the antichrist like we are so close. We're so close to the second exodus, exodus rather, second trip to yonder. Very close to that. But brothers and sisters, the vision that the Lord gave me, my second vision in 2015 was a destruction of NY. Literally NY. Now, when you watch that video in its full entirety, um, in it, you'll notice that I talked about in the vision, what I saw in the vision coming in for on the port were ships. Ships. And these were the big sea, the dragon country soldiers coming into Babylon. So there's going to be some form of in the latter days not very far because the bible has to fulfill because the bible says and this is what a lot of people don't understand this is what a lot of people don't understand that the bible says that those who will lead into captivity will go into captivity a higher a higher don't lie and a lot of people don't want to talk about it and that's why you see some of these mega pastors and people that always say oh you know Babylon, it is not US. You'll hear them come out and they'll they'll try to appease the people and it's fake, it's false hope. Because Mr. Babylon, if you read Revelation 17 and Revelation 18, and you look all over the world, the only place it can fit Revelation 17 and Revelation 18, it is Mr. Babylon, it is Babylon US. No other country in the world fits it. None, not one except babylon us so we know that they're in the bible but what people don't understand is that revelation 13 and this is why babylon is going to be invaded it is a must it's prophecy it's got to happen but if you pay attention to revelation 13 and verse 10 Revelation 13 and verse 10 says, He that leadeth into captivity, captivity is slavery, captivity is bondage. Which country leadeth a people into captivity? Babylon, US, Babylon, Britain, Babylon, France, Babylon, Arab nations that leadeth highest people into slavery 
But the Bible is saying that anybody, any country, anyone that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. The vision is true. Because that's why you need to watch a full vision in its entirety. Because in that same vision where I saw the missile coming down into NY and the big sea country soldiers coming into Babylon, US, the people were shackled. Shackled like what you see on TV when they're showing slavery. Big, massive, thick, not, not little tiny chains. No, these were... The, the feet were shackled. They were, let me try to explain what I saw in the vision. So the hands were shackled in big chains. Feet were shackled in big chains. And the chains were, the chains were literally leading from one person to the next, for the, to the other. So everybody was chained to each other. And the chain was from the neck to the other person's neck. Just like slavery. Just like what you see they depict of our people when they take our people from Af from from Africa the Hebrew Israelites and brought to America and they did what they had to do with our people and they depict it on television it's the same thing they were shaped, shaped. these were american people that i saw white people most of them a yeah, few blacks wasn't it i don't, I don't yeah, few blacks but majority of them were white that was shackled. The Bible tells you, he that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. He that killeth with the sword must be killed with the sword. Here is the patience of the saints. I, I, I don't lie. The vision is true. Babylon US will be invaded by Rush Rush and the Big Sea. They're coming for them. They're coming for them, brothers and sisters. Your holy hope right now is to have a strong relationship with the Most High. And you see if these dirty, evil, demonic pastors, instead of preaching about money and this and that and what if you, if they begin to tell the truth of what is going to happen to Babylon, U.S., a lot of people will be okay. But the sudden destruction that's coming up upon that country is going to be devastating. And this is not even, you know, this, this I just read to you. This is this ties in with Revelation 18 and 17. And the funny thing about it is that it's history repeated in itself, isn't it? Because you recognize and you realize that with our people, when they took us into slavery, the Bible says that when God's people go into slavery, no man will buy them. No man will come and rescue them. Who came and rescued our ancestors that was taken to America and Britain and this land? Nobody. No other country intervene. Who intervene? Not one single country. Nobody intervene for our people. Sorry, brothers and sisters. Sorry, brothers and sisters. The phone cut off a little bit. But what I was saying is that, you know, when slavery was happening, nobody came and, and said, you know, this is very wicked. What are you doing to these to, to the people? Send them back. Send them back home to Africa. Send them back where they came from. Nobody came and do that. But I want to. I want you to understand that Revelation, Revelation thirteen verse ten, and Revelation eight, Reve, Revelation thirteen verse ten, and Revelation chapter seventeen and chapter eighteen all ties together because the Bible says that when Babylon is attacked, when when the invasion is going to happen, nobody's going to come and help. They're going to stand afar off. Even though it says that, you know, the city is burning and all of that. But that is the, the, the invasion that's going to happen. Because what you, you might say, oh, well, what about Britain? What about Babylon UK? Because Babylon UK and Babylon US, the, the best bodies. But what you've got to understand is that Babylon UK itself will be under siege by ISIS. I say a lot of people don't understand prophecy. He that leadeth into captivity will go into captivity. It's all planned. So, you know, the, the bulk of Rush Rush and the bulk of the big sea, the dragon country, will be over there in Babylon, U.S., invading it. While Babylon... <laughs> God of mercy. Deep. 
no they're bubbling us when this happened nobody will help them they're not, they're not going to be helped and this is the reason why you've got to understand bible prophecy you've got to understand why the antichrist then turns his attention to jerusalem though it's the, not the real one but anyways down there in israel because he's going to set up shop. He's going to rule. He's going to live down in Israel. The Antichrist. If you follow my vision from 2015. They're all coming to pass. Brothers and sisters. These are all visions. That I'm telling you about. Antichrist and the false prophet. Will be living in Israel. They're going to rule from Israel. very very some serious you, you know you have to pray that you're found worthy to escape these things coming up on the earth you have to pray that you're found worthy and one of the things is the second trip to yonder pray that you're found worthy to go into that because you don't want to be here when all these things are going to happen but Revelation, I'm repeating myself, I want, because people are saying, oh, when is this going to happen? I don't have a timeline. But Revelation 13, verse 10, and Revelation 17, chapter 17, and Revelation chapter 18, all goes together. It goes hand in hand. All right? And, um, and so that will be fulfilled nearer to the very, very ending of days. Possibly the Antichrist in that time will be in some form of power, be controlled. It will, yeah, or it happens and then, I don't know, but it's going to be near. With the Antichrist somewhere hovering to come in or he's already in, but it's, it's all, y'all going to know. Y'all going to know. Um, but brothers and sisters, they have to take down. Not saying that what's going to happen in NY is going to be every single part of NY, but it's going to be that bad is that it's going to change a monetary system. It's going to change the economy. That is what I'm saying. So it is bad. Because by the time they finish, by the time they start to rebuild and this and that and what of you, they're just gonna the dirty Caesars are just gonna come out and say, look, we, we get to we, we're done away with money, no more coins. You're gonna be digital. We're going digital, and it's gonna be in a little chip, on in your body. That is the mark. You must not. You must refuse. Even though you got millions in the uh, thousands in your account, well, you have to see it and just say, you know what, bye bye. Just as though you refuse this. This is how you refuse that. You've got to be strong in that. Because it's very tempting when you look in your account and you thought, oh God, I've got a bit of change. I need it. It's hard. It's going to be very hard. Difficult. Difficult times. But the test run, I'm going to call it test run for now. The test run for NY is at the door. Because they have to, the, 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 the Revelation 13 is, is coming up. So the test run for NY is at the door. When it happens, when uh, when the missile comes in there, um, it's going to be that bad that it will change the face of the economy all over the world. All over the world. It's going to change. And this is where, this is where they're heading. So... The Crane country is just a smoke screen. Like rush, rush, really don't that it's not about territory, it's not about land. Because if you look at the situation from a normal, from a carnal eye, just look at it from a carnal eye. What's the reason Rush Rush got to go into the Crane country? It's no reason, but it's provocation. Now, when I do videos and I talk about rush, rush, provo provoking the West, people don't understand. 
Because they said, oh, no, no, it's, it's Babylon, U.S. that's doing the provocation. There's a reason why I call the U.S. Babylon. If you notice, every time I talk about U.S., I call the, I put Babylon in front. If you understand what Babylon is, you'll understand. I don't have to go over and say, oh, you know, U.S. is wicked, that this, that, the Babylon, the Babylon. Know what Babylon is in biblical times. And how Ahia destroyed the first Babylon, Nebuchadnezzar. That type of Babylon, that's why I refer to the U.S. as Babylon. Because Babylon in ancient day was very, 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 very wicked. Very wicked. So I don't have to be coming every two minutes and say, oh, America is wicked. No, because I've, I've, I've used the word Babylon. So Babylon describe what I'm talking about concerning the U.S. And Babylon, Britain. And Babylon, France. Anytime I see I use Babylon... In front of a country, understand what Babylon means. But, brothers and sisters, and why, then, yeah. A lot of people live in NY, lots. So what, 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 what do you do? Well, <laughs> the surety for your safety is have a proper relationship with the Lord. That, that is it. That's all it boils down to. I'm not going to say to you, oh, you need to pack up and leave. No, 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 no. I'm not going to say that because that has to be a relationship between you and the most High. Nobody can come and tell you to do this and do that unless the Lord tells you himself. But the most important thing is the relationship with the most High. Is your relationship with Ahaya. That is all it boils down to because wherever you go, he will cover you. He will shelter you. And even if you get caught up in the whatever that's going on and your life should end, you know, you should pass, you should die. At least you've got a proper relationship with the most high. And you know where you're going. You know where you're going. So it's very important. So that is my call upon people that you have a proper relationship with the Lord. You love him. You walk right with him. You walk with him like Enoch in this dispensation. You, you will have to walk with the Lord just like Enoch because of the things to come. All right. Okay, brothers and sisters. I wanted to come and do that video. Please watch. I'll leave the description in the description box. Rush Rush versus Babylon US. All right. You, you have to watch all those videos to understand what I'm saying, to understand what time it is. Okay. So be bold, be strong, be courageous. Walk with Ahaya, just like Enoch. All praises, all beautiful praises to the most high Ahaya, who lives above the heavens. Ahaya eternally bless you. I love you all. And I will see you soon. Someday in glory. In yes, high is holy name. Amen. 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 Let's say the benediction together. It's Jude chapter 1, verses 24 to 25. The Bible reads, Now unto him that is able to keep you from falling and to present you faultless before the presence of his glory with exceeding joy. To the only wise is higher our Savior. Be glory and majesty, dominion and power both now and forever. Amen and amen. Amen. Blessings. Amen.